attracted you to this project so much? Never knew anything about adventure racing. Thought the story was, you know, such an inspiration. And I just thought, um, you know, it, it was perfect for everybody. It could be a real uh, crowd pleasing, you know, inspiring film. That was really the gist of it. And then I realized, oh my God, I'm gonna have to go out there and do the stuff that these guys are doing. But well worth it, you know, it's nothing uh, in comparison to what they actually went through in real life, so. Yeah, the, the physical grueling aspect of this movie is incredible, and yet you suffered an injury, it's my understanding, uh, early in the shooting of this. Tell me about that. Day one, I'm running on a trail, uh, had to go up and pass a team uh, up on a hill, jump off the trail, and then jump back on, land on a rock, and just hyperextended my knee and tore my meniscus. Felt it, heard it, and it was just like, uh-oh, well, I'm going to have to keep going, keep powering through. And, 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 and you did uh, yeah. for the entire, I mean, uh, what, were there certain aspects that you couldn't do in the film? No, I just didn't want to do anything that would, you know, risk injuring it more. Um, you know, there was, there was a, a big concern that if there's too much flexion in the knee, that you could actually get locked into that position. Uh, I had a very famous surgeon who had actually gave me an MRI and told me, Sly Stallone had it happen to him and he got locked into this position with his knee flexed and they had to like literally carry him off and do emergency surgery to release the, the knee. So, you know, I was lucky enough that I just started doing corrective exercises that day throughout the rest of the film and I was able to get through. I still haven't had it repaired. That's, that is, uh, I guess, soon. Uh, one thing I've, I've noticed, I've seen a lot of Arthur the King commercials lately. I've also noticed a lot of Hallow ads. I, I'm curious, uh, you, you've emphasized prayer a lot uh, on your social account, so yeah. why have you been so outspoken about prayer? Uh, well, I credit all of my personal and professional success to my faith and also dealing with all the difficulties in life, all the things, the unexpected things that come your way constantly, especially if you're lucky enough to get older, you experience a lot of death, a lot of suffering, a lot of loss, uh, and all, all of those things, I'm able to deal with those because I get great comfort from my faith. And so I just want to share that with people. People always want to know, what's, you know what, what do you accredit your success to? And that is at the that forefront of everything. So. All right. Uh, thanks so much, Mark. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.